Nothing can stop me, I'm all the way up Alright guys, what is going on? Welcome to another video. Welcome to my brand new office. But it's not really brand new, I've just changed around the furniture a little bit. So basically I've been going back and forth, back and forth in my head as to where I want to take my body uh, going forward as far as my body composition. So you guys know I've obviously started CrossFit and I'm loving it and when I'm killing myself at CrossFit <clears throat> A thought goes through my head uh, when I'm well when I'm bulking officially, and you know I'm killing myself at CrossFit. I'm like fuck, man. I wish I could be using these cardio sessions as you know a, a, a fat loss tool, as a weight loss tool, rather than just conditioning my body so I'm you know fitter uh, as my body weight goes up. So basically, my you know my head's been going back and forth. I've been deciding. <clears throat> One morning I'll be like, nah, I'm cutting today. Uh, one morning I will say no, I'm bulking today, and you know I'm back. I'm back to that. <laughs> I'm back in this conundrum, guys. I'm back in this issue, and I've recently decided to go one way or the other. So what's happened is recently at the CrossFit gym that I'm at, they've decided to do a 28-day challenge, and it's a 28-day uh, fat loss challenge, and there's a shitload of people doing it. I am doing it too. So with that said. From yesterday, which was Saturday, today is Sunday. Today is Sunday, the fourth of June, and as of right, I'll, I'll say this right now. Okay, as of tomorrow, we're talking Monday, the fifth of June. I will be starting a four to six week mini cut. This is going to be similar to the one I did before I went to Thailand, except um, I'm not going to Thailand, so the results will stay, and I won't fuck myself up through alcohol. And basically, guys, my vision right now is to make it to day 365 of making gains in the best shape possible. Okay, we're not just talking about making gains physically anymore, guys. We're not. We're talking about making gains emotionally, mentally, physically, and spiritually. All coming into one so that on that final day, I am in the best shape possible to move forward to whatever goals you know I've got going on. So when I say mentally and emotionally, recently you know I've gone through a little bit of heartbreak, um, and it's never easy. And you know I've I've gained support from a few people close to me, and I want to thank you guys for for sort of getting me out of that funk that I was in. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's extremely easy to sort of get you know tunnel vision on uh, on one particular person, and you know I've done that for a fair few years to be honest. Um, and in doing so, I've cut myself off from other opportunities with relationships and with different girls that, you know, may have blossomed into something good, but I always had this, this sort of thought in my head about this other person, so I would never let myself get uh, too close to someone else because, because basically I'd always have this hope of uh, ending up with this, this one person that I'd sort of been keen on for a long time and it takes it takes its time I mean time heals all that's that's all I can say it takes time you need people in your corner you know you need to value yourself one thing I wasn't doing guys was valuing myself you've got to have self-worth and you've got to realize what you're worth and I've done that recently and so I can happily say that mentally and emotionally I'm feeling really positive and I wasn't for probably the last three weeks so all right so that's enough of that when I start when I start these making gains videos, guys, um, I basically just rattle off a day and hope that it's that. But today we're actually going to look at the calendar and work out exactly what day of making gains this is. So we're at the fourth of June, and believe it or not, guys, we started this series on August the thirteenth, which was a Saturday. So let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 19, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that's 40 weeks. 41. 42 weeks. So it was 42 weeks yesterday. So 42 sevens is 294. So we're at day 295 today, guys. Boom. So at day 295, currently, 
Let me take a drink of this first. Going forward, where I want to be end of fucking 52 weeks of this series, I want to be physically in the best shape possible. So we've started CrossFit. I'm smashing that three or four times a week. I'm still going to the gym. If I feel like I haven't worked any particular muscle group good enough in the CrossFit classes or the, the open gym sessions, I will go to a, a commercial gym, which I am still at the moment, and, um, and train with weights. I'm probably doing that two to three times a week. So I'm still going to the gym most days. Um, and obviously we're starting this mini cup as of tomorrow. So I, I honestly think that'll probably continue all the way up until day 365. So I'm basically, I'm gonna cut from here, guys. I'm cutting from today. I'm cutting for the next eight weeks. At the end of the series, I wanna be in the best physical shape possible. I honestly think I'm gonna be in the best shape of my life because I, won't, I probably won't be quite as lean as what I have been in the past, but as far as my muscle mass and my shape, it's gonna be so much better, and I can't wait for that. As far as emotionally, guys, obviously I just told you what I've been going through emotionally. I see myself at day 365 being, you know, focused on where I wanna go. I won't have all these I won't have any regret in my head, which I have been dealing with. Uh, you know, such a hard thing to deal with, guys, is regret when you can't change things. I mean, there's no, they say there's no point crying over spilt milk, but geez, those tears do come, I'll tell you that. And anyways, so that's mentally. Physically, mentally, emotionally. Let's talk about emotionally. Now, the only thing that's going to help me emotionally uh, become more stable, become more of, more of a man and move on is to quit weed. It really is, it's to quit smoking marijuana. So emotionally, this has been what uh, has been holding me back. It, you know, I did, I did make a, a video recently on the benefits of marijuana in bodybuilding and I stand by everything I said. It does have benefits. I do enjoy it. But there also comes a time and a place where you know, it's not suitable anymore. Use turns into abuse. Use turns into abuse and marijuana may be a herb and it may be natural and you know, it may be medicinal, but it's still a drug and it's still, you know, affecting your brain function. It's, uh, it's continually heightening your dopamine levels and you know, marijuana may not raise your dopamine levels as much as uh, heroin, or fucking crack, or meth, but it still raises it, and what that means is that when you come off, or you know, on your come down, as the feeling starts to wear off, what goes up must come down, guys. Yeah, your dopamine levels may have only gone up by a certain amount, but you know, when you take that substance out of the system, it's gonna not only come down to zero, but it's gonna go below, okay? That causes a huge amount of mood instability. And that is something I struggle with. When I talk to the camera, I'm in a good mood. When I'm not talking to the camera, who knows what mood I'm in, guys. Honestly, I'm just being real with you right now. Physically, we're going to be in good shape. Mentally, I can tell I'm in fucking good shape right now. Emotionally, that's the only thing I struggle with. And it's all because I smoke too much weed. So going forward, guys, that is going to be another challenge of mine. I hope that by the end of this series, I can, I can say that um, it, it doesn't sort of rule my life anymore because um, I can't have that happening. And I can say that I don't think about this girl anymore because I can't have that happening. And I can say that I'm not a fat cunt because I can't have that happening. So three things moving forward, can't wait. We're at day 295. I'm gonna drink my coffee and actually head down to CrossFit, believe it or not. Because it's been awesome. Really has. I've been loving it. And um, that's it. So once again, guys, all I did this morning was know that I need to talk to the camera. And I sat down and I put the camera in front of me. And anyone that wants to make a YouTube channel, a few people have talked to me recently about making YouTube channels um, and, and what to you know what to focus on, how to improve. You know, any tips, one tip guys, one tip, be yourself. Be yourself. How can anyone hate on you for being yourself? They don't like you, they can fuck off. If they like you, 
they'll start giving you support and it's an amazing feeling when you can get support from an online community like this and it's a community that I've built over the last few years and it's just, it's fucking cool man, it really is. The power of social media. And, um, and not only that guys, I feel like I've got a huge amount off my chest right now, I really do. And you know, before I felt like I had a huge amount on my chest and now I've got it off. And I feel really good. I've actually talked my way through my problems to you guys. Um, I now know what I need to do, what I'm looking forward to, and um, that's it. So until next time, have a great day, won't you? I'll try and have a great day. I hope you like my top. I thought I'd put something on that's a little bit uh, fresh and bright. This is actually a golden aesthetics top. So, um,. I've never worn it, I've had it for about six months, but I thought it's way too much to even wear anywhere. And actually I was a bit, it's, uh, I must have lost a little bit of weight because it was fucking tight before. And in saying that, I probably have. I'm probably, I'm probably sitting at about 102 kgs. So let's see where we go from here. So basically the way I see it, as of tomorrow, it's gonna be Monday, I'm gonna start tracking my macros on my fitness pal. Um, 2,500 calories once again, and um, we're just going to see what happens. I think I'm going to shape up pretty well. I think my metabolism is, is running pretty good at the moment. So that's it. That's the plan. I can't wait. You guys will see the results as per usual. Tomorrow's the first day. I might vlog it. Who knows? If not, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.